people. Out on another one. In a, a woods that I've never camped in. Been here oh, for years. I only it's in a place called uh, Nant Mill. It's uh, the bottom end of Coit Poith. And uh, yeah, as a kid, I grew up here. Not literally, but I was always down here building swings, dens, mucking about in the river. So, yeah, in for a treat tonight. This place holds, it does hold a lot of good memories for me down here when we were kids. Out with the menace again tonight. <laughs> This day to her already, she's soaking right up to the her belly. She didn't anticipate how deep the water was, the river. <laughs> Idiot's got to get in my tent. Yeah, I've already had a bit of a, a good walk around here, and there's plenty sort of spinning around up in the woods here in the trees. But I want to try and get as close to the river as I can, but. It's all walkways and I don't want to, I can set up as late as possible and then pack away in the morning as early as possible. Yeah, I'll see if I can find uh, a spot that's amongst bushes and stuff that my green tent won't be seen. <laughs> this is a beautiful spot. But long here then, a couple just walked past me. And only that I'm in this. Crouched down by there. They never see me. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit too exposed here, it's on the walkthrough. Damn! Yeah, it's a double back of myself. The, the heavens opened up. It was boring down, so I come back here because on your bed. That's it. Bugger gets on my sleeping bag. She's soaking. It's been in the river. So the reason I come back here is that the path ends here. There's no more path. And uh yeah, the river by here is pretty deep, so and uh, you wouldn't believe it, but when I was putting the tent up, there must have been about six, no, maybe five couples with dogs walking in the background over there along the, the main footpath. And uh, they never once glanced over here, told her to be quiet. She lay down and they had dogs, so yeah, she could have barked and give it all away, but she didn't, so not one of them, not even the dogs came over. So, two things I forgot this time. I've always prided myself, oh, I never forget anything. Cup, drinking at the trough again. And I reached into my bag to get my tripod, selfie stick, two in one, and it's at home. Hence, I got an achy arm. <laughs> yeah, I've had uh, loads of questions uh, this week regarding uh, the Eurohike, the Tama 2. 
And the main question is, would I recommend it? And the answer is hell yeah. For the price, 50 quid, I think they're 55. But uh, I had a bit of a discount. Uh, yeah, 50 pound I paid for mine. Brand new, from Go Outdoors. And uh, yeah, the only downside I've got of it, and I tell everybody on that, that's messaging me is, Change the poles, I've got mine on order, they still haven't bloody come yet, I'm fuming. But uh, they, they come with uh, fiberglass poles. <laughs> Might be okay in this scenario with wooded area, because there's not much wind. But if you're thinking of going on summits or mountains, definitely get aluminium poles for it. They're only cheap. But yeah, regarding the tent, I can sit up in it and I can sit on my bed and I can I'm not even touching the roof. I am 5'7", I'm not the tallest of people, but yeah, it's got straightish sides. It'll sleep too. Like I got a full-size German Shepherd, all my gear, my rucksack, everything in there, my bed, and there's plenty of room. So yeah, do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. It's a good spot this, it's basically the river here. And we are there. Awesome spot. If I can keep the dog at the river. <laughs> yeah, the light's starting to go a little bit now. I just put uh, some food on. I brought uh, rice and everything to cook on a flame. But yeah, the rain is on and off now, so Got myself one of these naked barbecue ramen veg pot. <laughs> they are quite nice, they're egg noodles, yeah. So, yeah, I quite like them. Easy and filling. Uh, look at this. Yeah, it's starting to spit now. Let's give a thunderstorm tonight, so. Yeah, let's we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's got a few more minutes of softening on the noodles. <laughs> but yeah, regarding the comments I've had, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, I've had some people saying that I've, uh, I've convinced them and they're gonna try it themselves. So good luck and yeah, you'll love it. You will love it. I thought the same, you know, that's why to be honest, that's why I went for the Tama. Cheap and cheerful, but by the poles, it's cracking. Can't fault it, but yeah. For what I want it for, it's more than enough. Yeah, it's spacious as hell in there, see? I don't know if you can see in there. <laughs> but yeah, if you're thinking about doing this, then you'd probably 70% already there, you're going to like it, because if it's, if it's these channels, if it's my channel or someone else's channel that you're watching, yeah, I'd say you're already prepared for it. My advice would be, if you're unsure about darkness or the dark, if you've got a dog, or even if you haven't got a dog, if you've got a, a field or a park by you, don't wait till it's, just till it's just gone dark, but run right about half past 10, 11 o'clock, just go for a walk around that park and see how you feel. That will determine if you're going to like the darkness. So, <laughs> the biggest fear is your mind. I can hear a, a noise outside my tent, and in here I'm thinking, little baby rabbit, little fox. In here I'm thinking psychopath with a machete. <laughs> so yeah, it's all about your mind. Plays tricks. In the tent now guys, it's, uh, I had my egg, egg noodles. They're quite nice. Well, very nice. <laughs> had a bit of a walk upstream and that. I didn't bother taking the, the camera to film because the light had gone and yeah, it was just a bit too, a bit too dark. Well, she decided to get up. Yeah, so I'm going to make myself a coffee now. Oh, there is another third thing I forgot. A beer. I left my beer at home. 
So I'm gonna have a coffee now, a hot drink, and uh, get tucked in in my summer sleeping bag. Yeah, see how that goes. The other bad thing about sharing one and a half meter by two meter tent with a dog is when she lets rip. Oh my God, there's no way of breathing anything else but her fats. Oh my God. Yeah, let's open the tent a minute ago. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have this coffee and uh, I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning! Oh my god, what an amazing sleep that was. Yeah, half past five. I've been up about ten minutes, I've literally put my boots on and put the kettle on. That was over a trough of coffee. <laughs> Bella! You witch. She's just been in the river and she's just running my tent. Come on. Hear me. Honestly. I always think, oh, that by a river would be lovely. <laughs> yeah, not with her. Yeah, it must have been 20 to 11. I think it was last night when I went to bed. Well, when I got into bed. And... Um, it was about 10 minutes of listening to wildlife and then probably just before 11, yeah, about 11 I went to sleep and uh, yeah, it was about 20 past five, something like that when I woke up and I literally just boots on, coffee on, talking to you guys, yeah, just there. Uh, Sat here, perched on my log. She's in on guard. <laughs> yeah, didn't seem to wake up at all last night. Not even to go to the toilet, nothing. I just sleep and woke up this morning. Absolutely bursting. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. As always, guys, L N T. Leave no trace. Right. Got my bag of rubbish. And uh, yeah, off we go. I want to thank you all for tuning into this video. Another camp done. Love the woods. I gotta say, I do love the woods. Task destination, and I'm signing off. Bye.